Hi, my name is Noah Gift, and today we're going to dive into the Swift language, which is the language that is used for iOS applications, Mac applications. It looks a lot like Python, if you're familiar with Python, and it has incredible performance and great tooling using Xcode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new project with Swift, show you how to install packages, and then also build out a command line tool and execute it. So in just a few minutes, you're going to be able to be building command line tools with Swift. Let's go ahead and get started. Here I have a Swift repo called Swift-CLI. And inside here, you can see that it's pretty straightforward to build out a command line tool in Swift. You open up Xcode, pick command line tool, and then add, in this case, I would recommend the official uh, Apple package here, Swift argument parser. And once you've added that to your project, uh, you can go through here and uh, build out uh, some editing in terms of the scheme. And so tell it to uh, be able to launch, for example, in a command line uh, terminal versus Xcode. And then finally, go ahead and test out your executable. So that's what we're going to do is we're going to go through here and uh, build all that out. One thing I'll, I'll point out, though, as well, is that when you do go through and add a package dependency, the way you do that is you just say file add packages. So let's go ahead and build this out. Uh, first, I'm going to start out with a command line tool here and uh, make this full screen here. And let's take a look at what it would uh, require to build out you know, your first uh, command line tool. Well, let's go ahead and look at this uh, Hello World application. Uh, if you're on the OS 10 platform, you can do the same thing you would do with Bash, right? You can say, you know, the shebang line here, add Swift, and then you import foundation and you say, hello world. In this case, uh, we'll go, uh, call this uh, hello Swift. And once I've uh, done this, it looks again, very similar to let's say Python. Uh, I just go and I make it executable. So we'll say uh, chmod uh, plus x, hello Swift, and uh, there we go. We've got a hello Swift uh, command line tool. Now let's make something a little bit more sophisticated though by taking something that does arguments, uh, which is really the, one of the more powerful ways to build things out. So in order to do that, I'm gonna go into Xcode here and you can see I selected new project. I'm gonna pick uh, a command line tool and we'll go ahead and call this something. We'll call this uh, phrase repeater. Uh, repeater, there we go. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say next. Uh, and then, you know, it's gonna ask me where I wanna put this. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, put this uh, inside of this, this same repo here. Great. And now a few things to point out with is, you know, I've got a hello world. I can just click run and, you know, essentially everything's uh, working to start with but I'm gonna to want to build out a slightly more sophisticated workflow here. And so what I wanna do is I wanna add a package. And notice if I say file, add package, the first thing that comes up, it says Apple Swift packages. There's all these really cool things that you can use with Swift uh, that are developed by Apple. I'm gonna select this Swift argument parser here. Kind of a similar process to, let's say Visual Studio, if you're familiar with C Sharp, where you can go through and add things with NuGet. This is, in, this is Apple's version. And, and I can even look at the documentation here. Look, implement argument parser. You know, it shows me everything I need to do. Okay, let's go ahead and add this to our uh, project. Perfect. And again, I can just go through here and build it, make sure everything works uh, inside. Great, everything's working. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, paste in some code here and let's walk through what it does. So the first thing I do is I say, use the argument parser from uh, the Swift argument parser package dependency. And then this is a kind of a traditional, uh, you know, command line tool here is that I add a help flag that says include a counter with each repetition. Uh, I then also go and I uh, give some options here. So in this case, this will be an option that will uh, ask for an integer. And then I, I ask for uh, some help here that says the phrase to repeat. And then here's the, the worker, right? This is the thing that does the work. I have a function called run, and inside it says for every uh, instance of the repeat count, go ahead and, and do the phrase. Finally, at the very bottom, I go through here and I, and I call the function. All right, we've got things running here, and you can see that I've got this phrase repeater, and inside uh, I go through and I run it, and it gives me this uh, output here. So it looks like things are, are actually uh, doing exactly what I expected to do, but how do I actually pass things in, right? This is a, a confusing thing for many newcomers. We can just go up here and we can, we can go to edit scheme. And this is where the magic happens is note that 
If I go to options, I could even change it to go inside of the terminal. I'm not gonna do that though. I'm gonna just add in an argument. And in this case, I'll just say, you know, hello. And if I go here and I close this out, if we run this again, what happens? Look, it goes through and it just repeats the, uh, the phrase over and over again. So I can also execute things and, and change these arguments to the function. So that's one of the really cool things about this uh, editor here is that I also can you know, basically go through here and, and pass in the arguments inside. So now that I've got this though, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I wanna actually build this project uh, for uh, deployment. And so I'm gonna go into my menu and I'm gonna do that next. I'm gonna say, you know, basically build for, uh, and uh, I can say, you know, basically running. And once I do that, uh, the only other thing I'll need to do is go over and find where that product actually lives. And with one of the ways you can do this is you can go to the product menu and you can say, uh, basically show the build folder for the project. And that's what this window is that I pop up here. And if I go to products, this is actually the executable that was built. Now, here's one of the things that's really awesome about building things with Swift is if I just you know build these things uh, side by side here, what I can do is I can actually go to the top of the menu here, pull this in, drag it right here, and then if I do a uh, dash dash help, what happens? There we go, it tells me the help menu for my tool, and now I can go through here and I can just say the phrase, uh, I love Swift, and then I can do dash dash count, and we can do five. There we go, I love Swift, and we obviously can change it to anything else. I love Apple, whatever it is I wanna build, and we'll do count two. So as you can see, very straightforward to build command line tools that are extremely performant and have all the power of uh, the Coco ecosystem inside, I would recommend you go ahead and try this out using the repo that I gave you access to.